talk to me about the additional stresses on local health departments because of the recent surge, please. I think similar to our healthcare partners, the volume is is a challenge. And so that that volume has impacted, is certainly taking a toll on staffing as well as the public and what we would generally refer to as COVID fatigue. Um, I think our, our health departments are also facing and deal with um, Sometimes I, I would describe it as, in addition to that COVID fatigue, it's just a, a lack of consideration and a disregard for the importance and the significance and the seriousness of the pandemic. Um, there's an urgency that just doesn't exist. Um, we see that in continued gatherings. We see that in the difficulty in, in, in contacting individuals. And then once we do their compliance with the, the health department staff, uh, and, and certainly the, the lack of thorough or full compliance uh, with those contacts that we were able to reach out to um, in, um, in following public health practices. Unfortunately, I think on top of all of that, there's just a lot of misinformation and competing messages. And in the end, it's really simple. We're dealing with a highly contagious virus that we don't currently have a vaccine for, and it's deadly. And we need everybody uh, has a role to play in preventing community spread. What about this disparity? And is that the right term? You have Dane County mm-hmm. ordering a ban on in, on in person uh, uh, in person gatherings, and we're two days away from Thanksgiving. And mm-hmm. then other counties have not taken, even though Racine just uh, may, stiffened its safer Racine guidelines. Mm-hmm. But you have other counties, maybe rural counties, who haven't been as proactive with such strict orders. Is this a healthy continuum or disparity in terms of what the public is supposed to understand and behave? Prior to this specific pandemic, any of the emergency planning that had been developed or anticipated for a global pandemic would have anticipated some sort of statewide or or broader policy decisions, because the pandemic really, by definition, is significantly broader than any arbitrary jurisdiction uh, or geographic boundary. Um, so I, I don't think going into this, there was, there was an expectation that we'd be making local decisions, the same local decisions across different municipalities in the state. So um, has the pandemic impacted communities differently across the state? Arguably, yes, but I think where we're at right now is it's, it's impacted everybody terribly and some even worse. So the, the, the floor, if you will, is, is pretty critical with, with some being worse. So the difference between communities is bad or worse and yet we still don't have, and yet we still have this patchwork response to a global pandemic. Um, you know, the governor attempted to early on um, have statewide policies in place in order to, you know, best prevent spread. Um, there's been limitations and challenges to that, which have made things difficult. And, and really, we're in a situation where every community, um, we've kind of resorted to this concept of a, of a local response to a global pandemic. That local response inevitably leads to Um, some variation across jurisdictions, which um, makes for an inefficient response. um, And I think can confuse the public by having different rules in different locations. 